Welcome to Thursday in the Conservatory classroom, day 39-ish, I think. Uh, missing angles in isosceles triangles. Same as yesterday, that you'll be given an angle already inside your triangle. Now, remember, the isosceles triangle is a bit of a strange one. And we're going to do two examples. Ooh, awful triangle. Just to clarify some. So, it's got two equal sides and then an odd side. Not always the top two. Oh, it's, it's, what we'll do is we'll get rid of that, actually. Still an isosceles triangle because these two sides are the same. Not an equilateral because not all three are the same. Um, and two equal angles, which nine times out of ten are going to be the bottom two. The bottom two angles. Um, like in every triangle, all angles add up to 180 degrees. So these two are going to be the same. So we could say they are um, 80 and 80. So 80 and 80. I do my column addition, 8 at 8, uh, 0, 0, 0, 8 at 8, 16, and then from 16 to 180 is another 20 degrees, which would be that. Now, you might get one where this angle might say that is 80 degrees. Now, the way to work that out is we know that inside the interior angles are 180 degrees. I've already know 80, so I could take 80 off which would give me 100, and then I'm going to divide my new number by 2. Because remember, in an isosceles triangle, these two angles are the same, same angles. So it would be 100 divided by 2, could take a 0 off. 10 divided by 2 is? 5. 5, add my 0, brings it back to 50, which would make this angle 50, this angle 50. Quick column addition, oh, 55, what on about, sir? 50, 50, 80. 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 add 5 is 10, add 8 is 18, there's the badger, 180 degrees interior angle. That's isosceles triangles for today, double video this afternoon, art and history, I'm going to go and walk in, <laughs> and I will see you this afternoon, stay safe, keep posting on the blog, adios.